Hi guys, welcome to my Vinyasa flow on Sunday. Last week I was traveling, so I was not able to get online and um, feature some of the Vinyasa flows. So today um, I'm back. And as you can see in my title, it's gonna be focusing on the hip mobility. Um, and to make the flow a little bit more spicy, I would incorporate some resistance band. That would be the booty band, some people say in the fitness industry. So I had the medium and the, uh, the heavy um, kinds. So I could alternate, um, you know, between these two bands, uh, depending on what uh, position or what flow I'm doing. Now it's just an option. So you, if you don't have those two, uh, or even if you have one, um, just, you know, it's, it's fine. If you do have one, um, just incorporate into the flow, that would help a lot. In addition to that, I would like to use the yoga blocks. Um, the, if you don't have the yoga blocks at home, then I would do like a pillow, um, like this Kai pillow or any pillows that you think you can squeeze um, onto it. So it's not completely firm, but um, you know, it's firm enough for your legs and your hands squeezing into the pillow. And um, and if you have a pillow, if you don't have yoga blocks, find a pillow and then find a stack of books um, so that, you know, in some moves, we have to kind of push on the yoga blocks and that would add more pressure and more resistance when you do that flow. Okay, so let's get started. And again, resistant bands, yoga blocks, optional. If you don't have it, take away resistant bands. But I would highly recommend to find a pillow and to find a stack of books. Um, these yoga blocks I got from Amazon, so they're really cheap. You don't need like a, like a cork you know, kind, because it's a little bit more expensive. Um, I'm using these kind of like a foam. So it's way cheaper than the cork materials. So let's get started. Um, this is my first time using the resistant band in my yoga flow. So be patient with me. If at some point I feel that I'm a little bit wobbling and I can't um, continue with the resistance band, I will take them off. And yeah, and you feel free to continue if you feel that you could um, bear with the resistance band. So let's get started at the easy sitting position. So you could cross legs. And what we want to do is because today we're focusing on hip mobility. So we're going to use our hands and try to push our hips, our sit bone onto the mat. And we just kind of breathing normally right here. And if you would like, we're going to start to circle our body from left to right at the same time pushing the hands on the knees. So kind of like a, a pushing and pulling forces when you do these kind of circle moment, motions. And then when you're done, we're gonna circle back. We're gonna do one more. If you cross the leg in one way, when we do the other, the second round, make sure to switch the cross legs. So I'm gonna switch right now. 
And then I'm gonna just circle again, pushing your hands onto the knees. Just sit kind of tall. Don't collapse your spine. And then the other way. And we're gonna open up our hips with the butterfly position. And again, using our hand, just push our hips down on the mat. What we're gonna do is kind of like a cat cow position right here. So that means you're gonna try to round your shoulders. So just inhale, round the shoulder. And exhale, push our chest out. Let's do again, inhale, round the shoulder. Exhale, push the chest out. So it's not only your hips getting activated, you're getting some shoulders activations as well by routing and protracting, detracting your shoulders. So again, inhale. Grab the shoulders, exhale, push down. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. And then just stretch our legs out, bounce up and down just to release the tension. That you just did. Okay. Let's do some on the knee. I'm gonna use my medium band. I couldn't find my light bands. The reason I'm using the medium instead of the heavy, you're welcome to use the heavy band. That's fine. Um, the kick gonna be a little bit different. And if you don't have the band, um, I will show you that. Let's do one without a band first, so that for whoever don't have the bands would know what they're gonna aim for. We're gonna use the blocks right here or stack of books. I would recommend using both. If you don't have the uh, blocks, that's fine. Try to push your shoulder, your forces through your hands by straining your elbows, but don't lock your elbows. And try to kind of protract your shoulders in right here. <clears throat> so if you don't have the band, we're gonna start shift forward a bit so that your shoulders kind of lie with your wrist. And then we're gonna start with the donkey kick. Now, if you don't have the band, you're going to try to kick higher, okay? So go higher, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The other side. So when you kick, pay attention to your hips and also don't forget to put the forces on the hands. So just get like a my body connection. Try not to span your hips out to the side. We're going to try to aim to the ceiling. Okay. So just aim to the ceiling. The other side. We'll do your donkey kick right here. And then Move slow first because we're just starting our flow. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Close it down. Now move to the band. I'm going to use the medium so that I can kick a little bit higher at the same time. I'm gonna loop it. Now put 
one knee. So if you kick the left leg, put the band under the right knee so that it can pull back your band, otherwise it's gonna rise to your thigh. Position of self, make sure the shoulders align with the wrist. Push down your forces. You can curl your right, to the right um, toes to get the balance. And then from here, let's do 10 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch side. We'll get the band down to that left knee. Make sure to push down and then kick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, you don't have the blocks, just hand on the mat. I'm going to do another 10 right here. Make sure to protract your shoulders. So, hug the elbows in, push that to the mat, and then kick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch side, push down to the mat, round the shoulders, and then kick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Now we're gonna move to the add-on. So that means if you don't have, if you have everything, start with the donkey. And then from here, if you feel your balance, you can start the right hand out. Now from this donkey, we're gonna to start to strain our legs out. Let me move forward a bit so you can see. So donkey, hands out. Okay. So and slowly strain it out. Now you can just hold on to this and just Pull in the static position, or if you want, just elbow to knee. So one, two, actually my band rise up. So make sure your band not rising up. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pose right here. And then move our leg over <laughs> to the side. And then tap one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then back. Wiggle your tail to release the tension. Move to this way. So when I kick 
to the side. I won't kick them to my cat <laughs> stuff. Okay, so let's move to the other side. Again, if you don't have anything, just try to do your best by engaging, pushing the, the positions, like pushing and pulling. So when you go this way, try to imagine there's a wall, kind of like the behind you, and try to just put on the pedal, feel like you're having a pedal, and just push, just push back. So that would create some sort of resistance um, if you don't have the band. I think my cat's getting a little bit irritated because he's so preoccupied. Okay, anyway, let's move to the other side. So first is the donkey. Make sure to hug your elbows in. Push down to the block, left hand out, and then strain your right leg. Point your toes down. You can hold on to here or start to move. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pull it out and then move your right leg to the side and tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then back, wiggle the tail, place attention, get it out right here. We're gonna do one more. This time I'm gonna feature without anything. So whenever I don't have anything, won't we'll feel left out. So again, don't have anything, hug the elbows in, try to push down through your fingertips. Donkey kick first. And then right hand out, look down would help to balance. So from here, strain your left leg and then move, touch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, get out, oops, try to get myself balanced here, and then move your left leg out to the side, and then tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, back, hands down. Now, if you feel that your balance is cut off when you go to the side, feel free to put your hands down on the mat and then tap. The reason I keep one hand off the ground is actually just creating a little bit more challenge so you engage your core a little bit more. Okay, the other side, again, hug the elbow in. By that way, just move your elbows to, you know, parallel to each other. And then get the donkey out, left hand out, and straight down. Make sure that your legs is not too high up or too sagging. From here, let's touch the elbow to the knee, so one, two, Try to create the length, three. So reach out and kick back, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. Hold here, and then move. Oop. Get the blocks out of the way. You right with the arm tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get back. Wiggle. Cut tail. So the next one, we're gonna use the heavy band. Just create a little bit more resistance. We're gonna slowly from here cross our legs. We're not doing the push up yet, so just hug the elbow in and slowly go down to the mat and then drag your body out to the floor. Go down right here. Now from here, get to the airplane. So your hands out to your side. So I'm pick the side, I'm gonna roll over to the right. So keep one, your right arm straight out. Use your left hand as a leverage. Pull, pull yourself to your right. So your body kind of like leaning against your right shoulders from here. See the bands would help you to create some sort of tension right here. So it worked on a little bit on your hips and on your glutes. So try to pull back. If you're flexible, try to walk your left foot closer to your bum and try to get to your left heels and open up. Whew. So a lot of open up, um, opening up, joy opening up. So from here, I can do the other side so you can see the back, what's going on in the back. And then slowly, left hand back, just to be safe here, use as a leverage, push that a little bit, roll back to your belly. Okay, now my left hand somehow is not as flexible. So when I try to buy my foot with my um, right hand, so we'll see. So from here, use the right hand as leverage, roll over. And then from here, walk your foot a little bit. The resistant band actually make it a little bit harder for you to buy as well. So try your best to touch the heel of your foot or the ankles. And just hold on to right here. Oh my goodness. And then hands back here. Roll back. Oof. That's a lot of stretch and open. And then to the fingertips, you wanna just release the tension. So push yourself up a little bit and create kind of like a back bend and then pull down, sit down. Now if you don't have the band, it still has the same benefits, but you work a little bit less. So from here again, to the airplane, move your leg over. This time, you get easy to buy. So, just hold on to your ankle, to your heels. This is like open up your shoulders as well as some of your hips. And if you had a resistant band, it would work. Your hips and your foot medius in this position. And then from here, back 
to the front and then to the other side. Again, use your right hand, push yourself over. And then from here, you can see that I'm not so much struggling. Ooh. Let's compare to the time that I have that resistant man. So I'm able to buy my ankle and my heels fairly easily. If you cannot buy, just do your best. Try to reach to your heels. You don't have, you know, to really grab your ankle, your heels at all. And then go back to the mat. Release using the fingertips and just push yourself up. Oh my God, really like this position. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna get ourselves up and then back to chai pose. Just counteract with the um, position that you just did with the spine. Just wrap your spine a little bit here. And then pull yourself up. The next position I'm gonna do, since we're still on the mat, so I'm gonna show you some of those positions you can do with the blocks. Um, one block or a stack of book. Now we're gonna go to blank and put one hand on the block and the other hand on the floor. This way you create like some sort of isometric. So your hands have to work harder to keep yourself balanced. So from here, we do the plank, just traditional plank. Make sure to round your shoulders, push yourself up a little bit, engage your core. And then if you want to add a little bit oomph, right leg lift to the, like a parallel to the floor, starting to go down. Now, because of the uneven balance, uneven push, pushing your left hand to work a little bit harder. I mean, your tricep to hold yourself in this position. Just 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push yourself up, back, switch side, pull up right here. Plank slowly, elbows hugging, go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up, back to plank, knees down. Shake it out. Now, if you don't have a block or a stack of book, I would do is instead of hand to hand, the same position, like a, the same area, side to side like this. I'm gonna move my left hand down a little bit or up, okay? So creating like a diagonal. Again, back to plank right here, lift up right leg. Go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push yourself up, back to plank, left foot lift. Go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, pull yourself up, back, knees down. I'm gonna do the other side. Now I'm gonna show you these moves and then we're gonna hold together becoming a flow. Okay, so let's do right hands right here.
left foot lift, go down, bend the elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, push up, back, lift, go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, push up, down, with the other blocks, I'm gonna do diagonal. So from here, up, right foot lift, go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up, left foot, up, go down, one, two, three, four, five, and then push up, back, knees down. So that is one of them. Another one I want to show you that before you're gonna do a flow, because you wanna incorporate these moves into the flow. So I would rather give you these tips and then we're gonna create a flow. So from here, flow would be chair. Now if you have a pillow, put it right either on your shins, or if you want a little bit more challenge, put it on your feet, squeeze from here. What you're just gonna do is twist and squeeze together. Now you want more oomph, use a resistant band. Squeeze a block. At the same time, try to kind of like, um, Go against with your band. So open up your hips, putting a little bit of resistance right here. And a twist. Back. Twist to the other side. And then back. And then go down. Last one I want to show you is kind of like a um, goddess move. However, we use a resistant band. So it's a goddess, right? Kind of like a squat. Right here. Hands right on the block, and then you squeeze. From here, we're gonna bounce half squat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and then go up. So that basically some of the flow that we should incorporate into our vinyasa. So let's do this guy. I'm gonna make like a flow here. So my recommendation is keeping the band on you all the time, if you have one. I'm gonna start with that we're facing. And then go down to the mat, but then just touch one, back, two, three, Six, let's do ten, seven, 
eight. And the knees down. You know, where are we gonna go? Donkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, get out, right hand out. And then from here, one, two, three, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, out, side, tap one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, back, down, the other side, what? Down, do this, donkey, kick one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, count, one, two, three, wow, this man just really rising, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, side, tap one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, back, we go to the tail, get to the plank, and then slowly, Cross the legs, go down, out. From here, hands to the airplane, cross over. Try to buy, hold to your 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back, airplane. Over. Whew. Try it by. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And from here, fingertips go up, go down, push yourself back to try pose. For a minute, back to the plank. Now, I could do the drops. From here, plank position, lift up, left hand, and then start to go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push yourself up. The other side. We're down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push yourself up. Switch side. Back to plank, left hand, left leg, go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up, the other side, go down, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two. Push yourself up, up down. Now we're facing dog. Four minutes. And then from here, get ourselves to the mat. And then we go to this chair pose. You squeeze the block, hang tight here, make sure your spine not collapsing. From here, squeeze, expand it out, and then twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, hands in front of you, and then twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back right here. Drop. Go up to squat first, and then pick up a block. Slowly get yourself up. To the goddess and then sink down, squeeze your blocks between your um, forearms and then bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. 19, 20, get yourself up, feel the band out, and we go, you just have cool down, so from here, hands to the sky, and then lean with the chest, get yourself down, do the mat, inhale, halfway left, exhale, get yourself down, now you can get your feet a little bit wider, sing yourself down a little bit more. You can try to aim your head to the mat. You can walk your hands back, and then pull yourself back. Just hang right here. Alternatively, you can use a block, you hit the center block, and do the same thing. Or, blocks in the back, pull yourself down, hands on the block, sink down. Slowly. Inhale, go up, and then hands to your waist, use a core, slowly get yourself up. Be closing together, do a little bit stretching here before we go down to Savasana, core pose. Kind of like a little lunge. Either way, right foot or left foot, right here. Sink down a little bit deeper. And then you can do, and using the blocks or not, it's up to you. Right hand, try pointing out to the mat, reach to the right, and then stretch to the right side. You can look up to your fingertips. Or look down to the floor. So stretch to the right first. Open up your hips and the side of your body. Right here, back, and so knee shift to the runner stretch. And if you feel your hips opening up enough, you can try to do a full split. Switch right here. Or you can bow. 
down to the mat. Pushes up. Closing your right foot back to where it was. And then push yourself up. From here, straight your right knee. And then you can do the twist. And if you want, you can get your left hand over. And then I'm going to twist this way as well. Down. Down, switch side. You can sink down a lot. Sink your hips down. Left hand pointing down to the mat, right hand up. And then tilt your body to the left. You can look up to the sky. Stretch your side and stretch your hips right here. Here and then from here, go to run that lunge. If you want to go to full split, inhale, look up and exhale. Try to bow down. Push yourself up yourself back to the position to the knee and then get your right leg up and strain your left knee can revolve your twist and if you want walk your right hand over and then twist that way And hands down, back to the mat, and then back. And then we're gonna go down to Savasana, right here. We're gonna do a simple twist. And if you have a block, before we're gonna go to twist, you can do is put your block under the sacrum. You can do the Second setting, the lowest or the highest. I want to open up my hips a bit more. So I do is the highest setting of the block. And I walk my feet a little bit closer. I'm gonna try to squeeze my legs together. That would activate your glutes. And then wiggle my shoulders, tucking in to the back. I was gonna hang here. Just open up my hips and open up my shoulders this time. Do some good right here. You can tip toes and activate your hamstring this way as well. Really good. And then once you feel done, Lift yourself up a little bit and then move the blocks slowly. Get yourself down. Pull your left knee to the chest and then twist to the right. Look to the left. Use your right hand. Pull your left knee down to the mat. And then back to the center. Pull your right knee in. Twist to the left. Look to the right. Use your left hand. Pull your left knee down to the mat. Make sure your shoulder is not poking up. And then back right here. Feet out, hands out, go to Savasana. So that was just a simple move for today. 
and let me know what you think. Um, previously, I did with some of the yoga strap as well, and that helps you to open up your um, hips and your shoulders um, in a different way. With this resistant bands and the blocks, today you do some hip mobilities and some core engagement. And in the end, I just um, do a little bit simple stretch just to release all the tension that you um, put on um, throughout the practice. So let me know what you think. If you like this kind of um, exercise, um, or if you prefer the full flow of vinyasa, um, I could do that as well. However, just adding some more variety so you won't get bored um, through the flow um, because in the end, there are only certain set, main set of the vinyasa flow, ashtanga flow. Um, and then you can just like, do some modifications and add-ons here and there that make it become more variety. Um, or you can incorporate a lot of things into your flow and that become a new flow. Anyway, um, just let me know and um, give me some up, thumbs down in this session and other sessions as well. Feel free to uh, contact me through my Instagram at QT underscore USA with some suggestions or some questions that you feel that um, you kind of confused um, with my instruction. And um, happy yoga, be safe, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time, namaste.